Hi, I'm Nancy from the Turk 2000 channel and today I'm going to show you how to make a tin cup necklace. But first let me talk about where the name came from. Um, in 1996 Kevin Costner and Rene Russo made a movie called Tin Cup and even though the movie was about um, golf, the game of golf, um, Rene Russo wore only one necklace in the whole movie and it was a tin cup necklace. Um, what made it interesting was that it was the first time that we saw pearl knotting with exposed silk in between the pearls. Um, and if you take a look at it, just go online, take a look and see. It's a um, very pretty necklace. It was done with pearls. Um, when we do the project, we're going to do it with crystals. But whenever you expose your silk for a stretch, um, the necklace is called the tin cup necklace. So in a second, we'll get going. All right, so to get started, the only tool that you're going to need, well, besides a pair of scissors, is your knotting tweezers and um, then the materials that you need are going to be your clamshells which will hold the knots to start and to end and then um, I'm using six millimeter crystal bicones but you can use whatever it is you'd like to do um, after I'm done showing you the technique I will uh, show you some samples I've made to give you some ideas and then you need your um, number six which is the weight or the size of your silk, Griffin silk. Um, your little stirra is the trick in this. Um, this is an open straw stirra for coffee and this is how you get the spacing in a tin cup necklace. So let me just show you one to start. This is one that I made so that you can take a look at it. And you can see that there is exposed silk. There is spacing. And the spacing is even on every single one. From here, this one, is, they're all the same. And you get the spacing by taking your stirra and cutting it to the length you want your spacer to be and then putting it on your string and doing your knots on either end of it, which I will show you. Um, this one is pretty far spaced out. I did another one just to show you where the distance is much closer. So you can play with it. You can use two different distances right in the same uh, necklace. You can mix up the beads you put in it. Um, there's no end to what you can do. This one you can see has a center to it um, and it just not at the beginning and the end of that. You have spacing. I put different beads here than I did there, and then it repeats. The spacing is the same. You can change the spacing. This necklace has a lot of things that you can do. Um, even if you wanted to do something like this one, which is a very long one, um, where I flanked, it, flanked each pearl with seed beads, of different colors to give it more of a fiesta kind of look to it on a black silk. Okay, enough about what the possibilities are. Let's get down to the technique. First, you have to open your silk. And to open it, this silk has the needle attached right to it. There it is. It doesn't look much like a needle, but it looks more like a wire, but that is your needle and it's attached to your thread. So you start to unwind it and then you just hold the thread and let the card drop until it is all the silk comes off of the card. Once the silk is all off the card, put the card to one side and save it. Then you want to put a knot in your silk. Okay, cut off the extra. Put a dab of glue or nail polish on your knot.
and then you want blow on her a little, let it dry. <laughs> there we go. Then you want to find your needle, the other end. Here it is. And you want to go into the belly of the clamshell. There's a hole right in the middle. And then, so your clamshell is now on the needle. I'm going to push it up the thread all the way to the end. Until it, let's see. Come back here, you. Until it covers your knot that you just made. Once your knot is inside the clamshell, grab hold of one side of the clamshell to help close it up a little bit. There we go. And push it closed. There we go. We're ready to start. Our clamshell is hiding that first knot, so now we go back to the other end that has the needle on it and we're going to put on our first bead. String it all the way down to the end. Once it's on, then we're going to put a knot. You put a knot by holding with your non-dominant hand, wrapping and coming through. Pull it all the way through. Then I like to lay it down so I can see the, the loop. Put my tweezers through the loop and grab right below where I want the knot to land. And let this all just slide, 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 slide. When it gets just tight that it's holding it, slip it out, grab the lead thread, and give it a yank. So now I have my first and I want to make my spacing. So I like it a little bit shorter. Again, you can make this any length you want. This one's going to be about an inch. So now, and this little spacer bar is the trick to this necklace. This is the little hidden trick that makes this um, possible. You just slide this on, pull it all the way up, to your bead and then while it is on your silk put a knot at the end of that coffee stirrer spacer bar whatever you want to call it and do the same thing you're going to go put your tweezers into the loop grab your thread where you want the knot to land pull 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 till it's right there at the base of that stirrer pull it out and give it a little tug, tighten it up, and now you have your first knot. So you have, that's the space we're going to see, the exposed silk we're going to see in this tin cup necklace. Now you want to pull your straw off, your stirrer, off the thread. And if you forget to pull your, your stirrer off, you can cut it off and then you just have to cut another one. Done that. Okay. So now we're going to put on our second crystal. Okay, once that's on, then we have to put the knot on the other side. Another very simple, simple necklace to make and fast. So if you need production for craft fairs, for whatever you're doing, that a home show, a jewelry party you're doing, this is a fast, really pretty, never goes out of style little necklace. And you just keep going. So I'll do one more. You find the needle at the other end again. There it is. Put your straw on. And if you're local to our store and you can't find these stirrers with the, uh, like a straw stirrer, we have a whole box of them. Somebody who owned a restaurant gave me a whole box of them. So come in and I'm happy to um, share it with you. Not all coffee shops use stirrers that have the hole in it 
as you will find once you start looking for them. Okay, so I have my little loop, put my beading tweezers through my loop, grab my thread at the base of my spacer, pull my knot, let go, and boop, yank it up. That's all you do for the entire necklace, and you have a really cute little tin cup necklace. I don't think you need to see me do it anymore, um, but I'll show you again, I'll show you another one that I did with an even different spacing on it. Um, more bridally looking, but very, very pretty. The six millimeter crystal, this is just a very plain one. The necklace that Renee Russo wore in the movie, she had pearls. Pearls look gorgeous with this. Semi-precious look gorgeous with it. With semi-precious, you do sometimes have to watch the size of the hole and the weight. You might have to move to uh, a heavier weight on your silk if you're using those. Six is a perfect weight for your crystal, or even if you're using Swarovski crystal pearls, perfect weight. Again, a six and eight, you can go up as high as you want. You can switch the sizes around. Just be creative, have some fun. Now you know the hidden technique and it is that little guy right there that will um, make this necklace for you. Hope you enjoyed learning how to do the tin cup necklace. I enjoyed showing you. Till next time.